and I'm gonna kick that problem out of the window. Ashley, <laughs> come on over here. <laughs> You are a transformed woman, and I am so proud of you. Thank you so much. For being so open, you are a knockout Thank on you. the inside and outside. Thank you. Thank you for everything. When I saw my son today, I just realized I've already won. I've changed. I'm going to be a better mom for all the lessons that I've learned, and I can teach my son these lessons now. So I still feel like I've already won. You guys want to come on down? Yeah. Risky. <laughs> <laughs> My time at Charm School has been an incredible journey. I feel really honored for the opportunity and to have had this chance of being a role model for these young women. And I feel like in teaching them, they have actually taught me. And I am so grateful to each and every one of them. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job. Risky. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. On the season premiere of Megan Wants a Millionaire. I've just met the woman of my dreams, I think. Megan discovers that some of these ballers. Oh my god! It was worth every penny. Don't have the tightest game. <laughs> Sorry. I made such an ass of myself. Megan wants a millionaire. Coming up next. Only on VH1. Watch a sneak peek now at megan.vh1.com. In this opulent Hollywood mansion, 17 millionaires have gathered, united by a singular shortcoming in their lives. Both loads of cash. Five grand. Keep the change, baby. But no lovely lady to lavish it on. Until now. And this brings us to the fetching heroine of our tale, Megan Hauserman. Megan once bravely vied for the love of 80s rock god, Brett Michaels. I love Brett Michaels. But despite being smitten with her charms, it was not meant to be. I just don't think it's gonna work for us. I cannot believe it. I really thought that me and Brett were falling in love. Just give me a kiss, please. No. Undeterred by the misfortune that befell her, Megan pursued her other love on a program aptly titled, I Love Money. It's my two favorite things, Tani and grabbing money. What could be better? But again, her dreams were crushed. I'm just misunderstood. Despite the melancholy of repeated failure, Megan struck upon a new endeavor, one that married her twin desires for love and money, and thus began her quest to acquire the coveted status of trophy wife. We put out the word. If you want to date Megan, you can, but you need to have at least $1 million. Oh, my God! $1,500. And be willing to spend it. Thank you. A little surprise for you. I love Tiffany. $5,275. Wow! These 17 unique millionaires answered the call, ready to take their best shot. No, Megan, no! Megan had no idea what would unfold. I love you. Oh. Almost. <laughs> VH1 procured a mansion for the svelte Megan and most agreeably hired me, Niles, as concierge and, if you'll allow me, narrator. Go! Yeah. There's way too much sword fighting in this place, but I'm willing to give it a shot because she's definitely worth it. <laughs> It. it was worth every penny. I love it! Only one millionaire can win my heart. Your luck has run out, and your credit's been declined. Megan was determined to improve her station and find her perfect millionaire match. And this is her journey. Megan wants love. Megan wants money. To live a life of milk and honey with a man who takes her there. A gentleman extraordinaire. Megan wants a millionaire. And what Megan wants, Megan gets.
gets. After waiting some considerable time to find a well set up gentleman, Megan was prepared to meet a man she could wind up spending the rest of her life with. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but most of all, I'm ready. Is it possible that her very first suitor could be the one? I'm TJ Diab. I'm involved uh, as the chief executive officer of Johnny Love Vodka. Hey. Hi. The goal of life is to have a lot of fun doing whatever it is that you do, and um, I would say I pretty much am, am there right now. I'm TJ. TJ, nice to meet very you, nice Megan. Nice to meet you, too. He looks very debonair. What do you do? We make vodka. You make vodka? Oh, I love That's vodka. Funny. And indeed, Megan does enjoy the occasional cocktail. I am so looking forward to getting some personal time with Megan to really let her see a little bit more in, inside my world. Please feel free to make yourself at home, look around. If there's anything you need, feel free to let me know. Well, bachelor number one certainly seems promising. It's off to the races now. My name is Sean, I'm an exotic car customizer. Hi. Wow. Well, Sean seems an agreeable sort, but Megan's and Lily's faces seem to suggest a possible lack of enthusiasm. Hi. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Exotic car customizer. I own a oh, company really? called Velocity Auto Couture. I see Megan, I'm like, oh my god. Wow. This is great. I'm thinking, yeah, I can definitely see myself with this girl probably the rest of my life. Whilst all of our millionaires had to prove their resources, some we avoided asking where the funds came from. My name is Mike Bloom. I'm a private investor. I get involved in um, different types of deals, private deals. What's your name? Away. My name is Michael, but they call me Big Mike. Big Mike? For some reason, I don't know. I like that. You're huge. <laughs> Good start. I mean, she's not intimidated by a big guy. Only a few suitors in, and Megan seems quite impressed with her Prince Charmings. Well, perhaps I've spoken a bit too soon. Hi. I'm Garth. She shot me with that lazy eye, and I was like, this is, is fine as up close. Megan? You look absolutely dazzling. Thank you. Nice. You are very colorful. I know. I'm a little... You might have taken that. Are you a musician or something? Uh, yeah. You are? No, it's more okay. of like I'm um, a little, uh... <laughs> I'm a plumber. I own a plumbing company. Wow. <laughs> That's not the same right. thing. <laughs> I've just met the woman of my dreams, I think, you know, so... I'm so elated. You're beautiful. You're sexy. Go have some champagne and I'll see you soon. Sweet. I realize that no millionaire is perfect. There's always room for improvement. My name's Joe Pascola. I'm more or less a trust fund baby. So I just kind of sit pretty and watch my bank grow. <laughs> I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. You're beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. Awesome. Well, it was nice to meet you. Megan soon realized that with more money comes more... I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Personality. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hi. I'm Donald. Donald? Yes, I'm a movie producer. There was a young smoking blonde hottie who had brains, but a real banging body. Oh, let me see. I forgot the last line. I'll have to take that again. Look at Lily with a little hurt. tongue hanging out. Isn't she cute? I know. You want to give her a kiss? Oh, OK. Oh, you are. She's your baby. She even gave you some tongue. I know. Hey, I'm getting action already. Lucky boy. Mm -hmm. OK, so apparently there is quite a variety of millionaires out there. Hi. I'm Alex. Alex, nice yeah. to meet you. I <laughs> heard that you could handle me, so I was like, Oh, hey. but can you handle me? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. My name is James. Aw, nice you're so you. cute. Thanks, you too. How old are you? I'm uh, 25. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah, you know. I like that, though. <laughs> Hi, Lily. What's your name? Audi. Audi, like the car? Yeah. Do you like have an car. Audi? No, no. I have a Cherokee. <laughs> a Cherokee? <laughs> Hi. 
How are you? Good, how are you? You look amazing. Thank you. I'm glad to finally get to meet you. Me too. Nice to meet you. Okay. Megan began to think that perhaps she was going to have to sacrifice some things. Or perhaps not. My name is Sheree Hayes. The best part of my personality is I take control of my environment. I lead, people follow. I speak, people listen. My name's Sheree. Sheree? But most people call me Punisher. Punisher? Why? That I would have to show you. bad boy. Uh, something like that. I want to know why he's called the Punisher. I'm one of the largest distributors of adult products on the internet. I came here looking for a princess. Where are you from? Dallas. Dallas? Greatest city in the world. I love Dallas. Well, you got to come so we can go shop there. Deal. Do you think I'm the girl for you? You are. All right. Well, I hope you're just ready for the next chapter of your life. Oh, I'm ready. It's going to get exciting. Francesca. Francesca, nice to meet you. Where Find are out. you from? I'm um, originally from Colombia, but I'm oh, here from really? Florida. Do yeah. you speak Spanish? Yeah, claro, mi amor. Hello, Megan. Look, we're matching already. We are matching. Have you met any Canadians before? Never. Well, it's about time, don't you think? Absolutely. Can I let you in on a little secret? Please do. Ryan whispers in my ear, you're going to love Canadian bacon. <laughs> Save me a spot up for dinner, OK? 17 millionaires is a lot of man for one woman to handle. So Megan's decided to bring in some reinforcements. Coming up. Well, I can't legally work here unless I'm married. So We'd you're have to get using married. me for a green card. And later. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you have too much body fat? It tends to accumulate on your stomach, hips, and thighs. Body fat is unattractive and extremely hard to get rid of. Are you struggling to lose weight? Does it seem like no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of excess body fat? Body fat builds over our midsection on top of the muscle underneath the skin. And over the years, it gets worse. Body fat increases from having kids, stress at work, lack of exercise, and poor diet. The Obesity Research Institute has found the solution. It's called Lipozine. Lipozine is clinically proven to help reduce your body fat and weight. And to raise awareness about this weight loss breakthrough, the company is letting people try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days. In a moment, there will be a toll-free number on the screen that you can call to receive your risk-free trial. Lipozine is so powerful that it's clinically proven to help you lose pure body fat. In fact, a recent major university double-blind study showed that not only did participants lose weight, but 78% of each pound that was lost was pure body fat. What's even more amazing is that people were not asked to change their daily lives. It's so easy. Just take Lipozine. That's it. If you're ready to get rid of pounds of body fat, then call the number on your screen right now. Lipozine is worth the price because Lipozine is clinically proven to work. Lipozine is now available over the phone direct from the manufacturer. Call now to order and try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your order and include your shipping absolutely free. That's right, call now and we'll double your order and your shipping is free. Remember, Lipozine is clinically proven to reduce your body fat and weight or we'll refund your entire purchase price. Call 1-800-903-3017. Are you going to sign in, or shall I? We have never faced a threat like this. Then I know what I gotta do. What did you say your unit was called? Rated PG-13, Friday. My name is Antonio Sabato Jr. I've had a great career, but the fact is, I'm single. 
So I'm looking for love here in Hawaii. Hello, ladies. Wow, Look at wow. the smile. Melted, done. There will be heartbreak. Passion. And more than a few surprises. My name is Tully Jensen Sabato. Whoa! And the most important lady in my life will make her feelings clear. I object. My Antonio premieres two weeks from tonight at 10. Megan had just met all 17 millionaires, and her unwavering sense of destiny led her to believe her future husband was inside the mansion. But before she went in to find him, she had a trick up her sleeve. <laughs> This is my best friend, Brandy C. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. Oh. Mm. And this is my other best friend, Cecile. The trick being that three blondes might fare better than one at extracting information from our wealthy candidates. I am so excited. How are they? There is a lot of variety. <laughs> There's some cute ones. I need to know which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. <laughs> Hi, boys. <laughs> What's going on? It's Brandy C. Oh, Brandy C. Oh, my God. Megan's got these two gorgeous friends with her, but I am focused right now like a laser on Megan. We have a very special personal surprise for each and every one of you. So follow me. So Megan leads us into the living room, and I see all these gorgeous bags. I'm going, wow, what's this all about? Hi, guys. I'm going to call you up one by one and ask you to tell me a little bit about yourself. And based on that, I'm going to give you a special gift. I believe in leading by example. So for each of my millionaires, I'm going to give them gifts. You know, from my heart. Joe. Come on down. I'm sorry about earlier. I really didn't have to use the bathroom, though. <laughs> I'm just a trust fund baby. My grandpa opened up a business back in the 50s, and it's been very successful ever since. I could get used to the term trust fund baby. Cecile? Yes? Give me this white big bag. See what you got you for go. me. <laughs> what is it? It's a piggy bag. Oh! I'm just kind of the trust fund baby, and I really can't help that. Unlike the other guys in the house, I don't flash it around and I don't brag about it. Bling, bling! I doubt Megan is encouraging Joe to save for a rainy day, unless that rainy day happens to be a pair of Gucci shoes. I am the premier <laughs> financial criminalist in the world. Wow. When someone steals hundreds of millions of dollars, I am the go-to guy, and don't you forget it. OK, let's So what you got for me? The yellow bag. They call me Double O Dave because I'm an international jet setter to do the kind of work that I do. It's a globe. Where's the best shopping in the world? You tell me. Paris. Deal. David's talking to Megan and he's just a big kiss ass. Butter up Megan as much as he can. And once I put the um, hump game on her, she's all done. I'm a real estate investor, mm -hmm. but I've made my stake from being a male exotic dancer. Mm -hmm. A millionaire stripper? Megan wondered just how good on a pole he could be. So you're a millionaire stripper? <laughs> exactly. He must be good at it. Really good. Punisher. <laughs> For some of these guys, figuring out a gift was easy. I think this is right up your alley. <laughs> You're about the size of a little sex toy. <laughs> I'll cook for you. Cook for me? Sashi. There you go. Yeah, baby. Hungry. I hope this is to your heart. Duh. Oh, ah! hell yeah. Oh, oh, but for others, finding an appropriate gift was a little more difficult. I'm a uh, professional anyway. bodyguard. Oh, yeah? For so you could protect people. me? Absolutely. Yay! Yay! I'm a pro wrestler. Nacho Libre. <laughs> Great compliment. Uh -huh. Oh, my oh. God. Are you going to use it in the wrestling ring? I'm going to use it maybe later. Maybe you could teach me some good wrestling moves. Ow. When I saw Megan for the first time, she really made me nervous. I can't late sentences. I just, I don't know what to do. So how are you feeling? Are you OK? Are you having a good time? A little bit nervous. You're nervous? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, you're making me feel uncomfortable with Why? that whole hand in the finger thing. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, a little. <laughs> oh, it's such a geek. This guy has no game. Ta-da! It's massage oil. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Al seems terrified right now. He needs to loosen up. So I gave him massage oil. It's great to see you. You're breathtaking. Thank you. Here you go, TJ. Thank I you. hope that you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. So I'm breathtaking. You are. Thank you. She's overwhelming. She's absolutely more beautiful than any pictures of her. That is perfect. Ah, yes, the gift that says, don't forget about me when you're out shopping. Audi. Big dog. Oh, is that what you want me to call you? Yeah, big dog. On. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Do you have a dog? Yeah. What's its name? Cole. Audi, you seem a little out of place, bro. You don't miss your doggy? Oh, hell yeah. My doggy misses me, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Audi is this abrasive guy who just doesn't know even how to talk to a lady. Some blue-collar guy from the streets. Oh, all right. Just for you. I like that. Since you miss your doggy so yeah, much. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I have an inheritance from my grandfather, so hopefully oh. I will be taking that money and making hopefully. it. Hopefully? What do you mean? No, I will be taking so that money. it could go either way? No, no, no. It's going to go up. My grandfather is going to give me and my sister an inheritance. Sounds as if James had better hope his grandfather's health is in a frail state. Well, I mean, it'll be good when it comes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> will you be my golden ticket? I'll be your golden it's ticket. Golden Hell ticket. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Show everybody your present. So James is not a current millionaire. Okay, I'll think about it. So you're a plumber? Yeah. Do you know how to fix all the pipes? <laughs> Garth doesn't just own a plumbing company. He is the actual plumber. <laughs> Toolkit, I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I have work for you. And Fixing I'm the your... pipes. Poor Garth. She already sees him as a tool. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a Prince Charming, a little bit of a bad boy. <laughs> Yummy. It's a pimp cup. <laughs> <laughs> I typically date girls that turn a lot of heads. I love the chase. Hi, Donald. It's great to see you again. How are you? Oh, I'm good now. Are you having a good time? <laughs> I think so. By the way, Meg, I have a hobby. I am psychic. I'm going to have to, like, mesmerize you into falling in love with me. Ooh. I have poured into your mind and revealed your inner thoughts. Oh! Yes, Donald, I do suspect some form of hocus-pocus will be required for Megan to find you... Uh, interesting? Should I be in some movies? Oh, if I'd known you when I did Chainsaw Cheerleaders 1, you would be on the poster <laughs> now. Donald has a lot going for him. He could put me in movies. I'm just not sure if I can get past the 100% lack of physical attraction, but I can try. Do you like to go uh, for nights out on the red carpet? Yeah, absolutely. That's what your life would be like with me. Really? There's always someone behind the scenes that made it happen. Oh. Right? Does that suit you? Suits me. The king? Thanks for saving the best for the last. So Megan gives me the king's crown. And I'm looking around, and I'm thinking to these guys, you better pack your bags now. It's all downhill. Tread carefully, Corey. Never lose sight of this being Megan's kingdom. I hope you all enjoyed your gifts. There's a lot more that I want to get to know about each one of you. But before we do that, there's something that I do have to say. I can't keep all of you tonight, and three of you are going to have to go home. This would be the first of many bubbles to be burst inside the confines of Megan's mansion. But Megan had no choice. If she wants to pick her perfect mate, she'll have to start weeding out the ones that aren't right. I was thinking, I'm not even worrying about it. A lot of guys didn't make nearly the impression that I did with Megan. Coming up. Chicks are like stalking me. What do you do to them to make them crazy? Oh, no, I guess it's a hump game. <laughs> a what? <laughs> this guy has no game. And later. Put your hand right in the watch. You feel it? No. <laughs> I've made such an ass of myself. Y'all got love for the stagging man. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, them boys sure got some lookers. Come on in here for your nickname, there, girl. Oh, pal. I'm a seat up. Yeah. I just call you Jump. Squatch. No! Damn Sasquatch! <laughs> but there's a few wild ones to tame. It's not my fault if you look like a god! Real Chance of Love 2, Back in the Saddle, premieres tomorrow at 9.
Catch a sneak peek now at realchance.vh1.com. I love my abdominals, yes. I love my belly. I love my abdominals. My husband, he can hardly keep his hands off of me. <laughs> Favorite part of my body is definitely my abs, and that's the best part. The secret to results like these is the Bender method of core training, developed by master trainer Leslie Bender. She's an inspiration. This is an amazingly great program. Leslie's secret weapon to sculpted abs is this small ball, the Bender ball, that Leslie uses to target your abs in ways that you couldn't do otherwise. What you see in the gym is people are just doing a gazillion crunches and they don't know why they're not getting results. With a regular crunch on the floor, you're limited. You can only go forward, you can't go back. With a bender ball, you're getting extension and flexion. Each of Leslie's ab sculpting moves put you in perfect position for results. Combined with her effective method of selective stabilization, it cranks up the intensity and targets the muscles you want from all sides. Your upper abs, the sides, and those hard to reach lower abs to give you a workout that's up to 408% more effective than ordinary crunches. So you can sculpt beautiful abs fast. It's quick, it's right to the point, gets right to the abs. And now for only $19.99. You can have the incredible Bender Ball and Leslie's amazing video, The Bender Method of Core Training. I've gotten such good results that I would never go back to regular crunches. You will see results quickly, and that's the best part. But it gets even better. Call now, and you can get this amazing program for only $9.99. Plus, we'll include a bonus video, The Bender Method Buns and Thighs, your free gift just for ordering. Altogether, this is a $40 value, but yours right now for only $9.99. You're going to really like the way you look. Call 1-800-608-6630. That's 1-800-608-6630. Call now. This... Want smarter home phone service at a smarter price? Talk to Comcast. We give you unlimited local calling that offers you big savings over the phone company. Plus 12 popular calling features like caller ID and call waiting, along with call clarity that's rated number one. AT&T can't say that. And it's brought to you on America's leading fiber optic network for TV, phone, and internet. So hurry, get Comcast Digital Voice for $24.95 a month every month. And get smarter home phone for less. Call now. Everything about buying a bigger place? Just waiting for a visit from the credit fairy. There is no credit fairy. How else will I get a better credit score? Look, you keep your credit card balances low and only open a new card if you really need it. No fairy? There's no magic to improving your credit, but there's help, and it's free. Go to creditfairy.org. If you want to make something out of your life, this is where it starts. My grandmother raised me. She was the most important influence on my life. They can say whatever they want, Grandma. I'm proud of who I am. I love you. The T.O. Show, an all-new episode tomorrow at 10. It was time for Megan to start spending time with the millionaires. Armed with Brandy and Cecile, our blonde trio must disperse themselves amongst the millionaires in order to ascertain who will stay and who will be sent on their way. Do you think that we would be good together? I think so. Why? Because I'm fun outgoing, you know, down to earth. I think my, my conversation with Megan is going pretty good at the mix up. Um, we're connecting, we're conversating, I'm feeling confident. A lot of them chicks I'm, I deal with are like headaches, you know? Really? Yeah, Why? They're stalking me, following what? me around, yeah. You, so know, you make girls go sane. psycho? What do you do to them to make them crazy? I, I guess it's the hump game. <laughs> A what? <laughs> Pumpkin? <laughs> yeah. Is that a Rhode Island term? <laughs> yeah. Sex, you know, is the way you um your your thrust action. <laughs> like sex, you know. Oh. 